Hi there, um, Lauren and Rob from Fraser C. Robs. I'll just apologise as well, I've had a really bad cold and I might start coughing and spluttering, so apologies um, for that. What I'm going to start off with is, um, I've got a short video here. Um, Fraser C. Robs, when I joined the business 10 years ago, um, one of the things that I started, I said to my dad, I said, Dad, we need a website. He said, I don't want a website. I don't want to go online. All that online stuff, that's not for me. It's all about personal service. I said, Dad, we need to develop um, videos. We need to get websites. And um, now my dad's 73 years old. Um, he's got an iPad. He's got an iPhone. They're all linked in together. He's got his own uh, laptop that's on his desk that he can't, goes around with him. So he's completely engaged with them online. I'm just going to show you a very short video, rather than me talking loads, um, about Fraser C. Robs. Um, Oh. Just show you a short video that just um Thank you. <coughs> Welcome to Fraser C. Robs, a family business trading since 1975. From here are showroom and workshop facilities in Drummond. We sell and service all types of crown care products. Our customers range from domestic users to councils, estates, farmers and golf courses. We're committed to finding you the best equipment for your needs, including lawnmowers, strimmers, chainsaws, log splitters and pressure washers, plus ride-on mowers, quarters <coughs> and chippers. We also sell and service the range of custom-powered sweepers as well as the advanced motors, the electric pumps, electric vehicles and fuel bars. Service is a very important part of our business. We offer you high levels of service, providing training and advice to ensure that you get the best and safest use of your equipment. to Jim and Show. This is just one of the many shows that we do each year where we bring all our equipment out to show everybody what we do. We are proud to support local charities and each year we choose a good cause to support. This year it's the Chorsix Search and Rescue. Well, we're actually really delighted to be involved with Fraser C. Roberts, their charity of the year. Um, it gives us a great platform to showcase the work that we do within the community uh, with our Heart Start classes education classes we do uh, through to our public access details that we've got throughout the community and obviously the work that our search and rescue dogs do like Mitch here as well um, but it's great to be involved with such a community business and reflects our community status as well. Whatever item of grain care equipment you need, small or large, we can help. Visit our Drimmer Show or call 01360 6680688 So, um, just looking at some, why would you choose this industry? So we were, we started off in, um, when my dad started the business over 40 years ago, it was very much all about farming, but we've had to diversify over the years um, just to grow our business and we have diversified into horticultural, into electric vehicles. Um, but one of the things that I found when I joined the business, so I, when I got, when I was 17, I got away as quickly as I could. I didn't want to live in the country um, as we've had before. It was smelly, it was dirty. I wanted to be in Glasgow. I wanted to, be, to live the Glasgow life, go out all the time, have a party. And then through the years I've worked in, and um, you'll see uh, in the notes, so worked in quite a few big corporate companies. And I just got to the age of 35 and I thought, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do with the rest of my life? and was drinking copious amounts of red wine with my mum in Barcelona. And my mum said, what are you going to do with the rest of your life? And I was like, I really don't know. And she said, why do you not join the family business? And I thought, do you know, that's a really good idea. So when I worked, um, so I worked for big companies. I used to work for Britvic Soft Drinks. I used to manage a sales team of 60 people. 
Um, I worked for TotalJobs.com, I worked for Moat House Hotel Groups, all in kind of HR sales roles. And one of the things that I find is, see when you come to this industry, it's real, it's real people. There's no, um, there's no bullshit. There's no, you meet real people that, that want to tell you it's straight. So I remember sitting in, I apologise if I'm offending anybody that still works for Britwick or knows anyone who works for Britwick, but we used to sit in business meetings with Britwick and it was like, you know, um, jargon. Oh, let's all get our ducks in the row and let's have a blue sky thinking moment. And you think, that's just not real. That's just not what it's about. And that's what I really like is about the customers that we deal with, our suppliers that are deal with, the team that we have. We're all real people. <coughs> And because there's so many family businesses, we're a family business, so the four of us are all in the business. Well, my mum and dad started the business, my brother came straight from school and I joined 10 years ago. Um, I arrived and my mum and I were meant to have a handover of about three to six months. She managed to last three weeks and she was just like, I'm out of here. You can have it, there you go. Um, so we're very, very close family. We've got a very, very um, close relationship with mum and dad and my brother. And that goes into the team of people that we have. Um, and I think, you know, I've said it there, you're a person, you're not a number. So I remember working for Total Jobs. I've always worked hard, always um, worked very hard at what I do. And um, I remember I went to the director of the company and I said, listen, I'm going to finish at four o'clock today. I, work every, I worked every lunchtime. I was in the office at half seven, eight o'clock every morning. I said, I'm going to finish at four o'clock today because I'm going to wait for the weekend. He went, well, well, you better work your lunch today. I thought, I never take a full hour for lunch, I never do that. And sometimes in big corporate companies, you're just a number. You're not actually um, a person. We care about the people that we employ. So we've got a team of people, 18 of us, and uh, we actually care. We care when they go off sick. We care, like we, we have, um, one of the guys went off on long-term sick class last year. I was the first person that he phoned, you know, when he was having some issues. He came up within 48 hours, he was in front of me, he was a mess and we got him back to work through, through a period of time. So um, we care about people when they're working with us, working for us, and also we care. I know all the wife's names, girlfriend's, children's names of everybody that works for us because we're an extended family. Career progression as well. What you get, what you put in is what you'll get back out. We've got um, 14 people have got over six years service with us. Three people have been internally promoted. So our parts manager was an apprentice. <coughs> was an apprentice engineer, our workshop manager was an apprentice engineer, the guy that's just taken over our accounts <coughs> started this with us um, six years ago, straight from school, and started an online business, so he started and kind of developed our online business, so his job was posting on social media, selling on eBay, um, and selling online for us, and um, he's now taken on our accounts, he has, he has no idea what a purchase ledger is, what a sales ledger is, but we'll train them and we'll make sure we um, go through that together. <coughs> I don't believe that you need any qualifications to come into this industry. I think you can get them while you're, while you're in the industry. There's so many vocational qualifications offered through Modern Apprentices. I've sent um, the guy that did our online business, he went to London and he went on a Google course in London. Um, they've, I've got people that are currently doing certificates in management. Um, they've done HNCs in business. All of those um, all of that is available within the workplace. We pay for it all. Um, I also think it's all about attitude rather than, you know, attitude versus ability. If you have the right attitude, you can achieve whatever you want. And people with the right attitude um, will, will, succeed in our, um, will succeed in our industry. And I think some of the basic skills, and I can see this working more um, when I'm working more and more with our local schools. So, uh, my dad went to Balfron High and me and my brother both went to Balfron High School so I took a lot of stuff back with them and I think some of the skills that we're trying to when we get, do school placements is timekeeping, attendance, positive, being positive, listening and willingness. Those skills are really all you need to come into our industry. The technical stuff can be taught. Oops. Oh, I clicked too far. And just my final slide, um, it's just how to raise awareness. So as I said, I work a lot with Balfron High School um, and we do the work experience week. I don't know if it's the same week, it's September with us um, in Stirlingshire. 
So I always make sure we take placements. I will take work experience placements any time at all. <coughs> we currently have work experience. We've got a guy that's in sixth year and he is, um, they've got a module, and I'm sorry I'm not technically school minded, but they've got a module that he now comes to us every Tuesday and works for the whole, is working for the whole year apart from the holidays. And he's doing eight to five every single week with us and is working around all the different engineers. Um, I, I encourage, I know that there's all these rules and laws and things like that about weekend working and working in school time. I don't really, if people want to work, come into our business. You know, we can, uh, I don't have a problem with people coming to work. We get guys locally coming and we pay as well. So, you know, people can come in and they work on Saturdays or work with us. I think one of the key things is, and I, because I do so much work with Balfron High, because I was obviously an ex-pupil, and um, then I do a lot of stuff, and it's trying to find, I think one of the challenges for, the, for um, schools is to try and find those businesses that want to give something back. And I know they're definitely out there, because I'm out there, and I want to give something back. And Tracy Patrick, one of the deputies from Balfron, she's always on the phone, Lorna, will you take this, or will you do that? And I'm like, of course I will. Because you have to give something back. It's the only way that it's going to work. And I attend loads of events at school. So if it's careers or if it's, you know, I can't do everything, but I try and give something back. And sometimes Tracy, I have to say, listen, I can't do it, but um, I try and get us involved. And sometimes it's quite hard just to try and find those businesses. So we're one in Drimmon Supportive. And I'm sure they're out there, but you just have to maybe keep wading through. So she spends... I know that she spends a lot of time trying to link in with a lot of local businesses and then she's down to kind of a core that she kind of picks on us um, all the time. But we're all very, very supportive. So that's me. I think I'm within my time scale. You can save the questions to when we um, come round. Okay? Thank you.